Hey guys, welcome back to when to read what and this is the fourth part of how to win friends and influence series written by Mr. Dal Kane sir. So in this video, I'm going to discuss with you four three principles of how to win people to your way of thinking. So without wasting time, let us begin with the first experience, which is shared by Mr. Frederick, who was a tax consultant. So Mr. Frederick had been disputing and wrangling for an hour with a government tax inspector over an atom and $9,000 were on the line. Mr. Frederick claimed that, that the item was a bad investment and it should not be taxed. Whereas the tax inspector argued that it must be taxed. And the longer they argued, the inspector became more cold and arrogant. So naturally, this conversation wasn't going anywhere. So Mr. Frederick decided to change the subject and give inspector a word of appreciation. He said to inspector, I suppose this is a very petty matter in comparison with the really difficult and important decisions you are required to make. I have studied taxation myself, but I have got my knowledge from books. You are getting yours from firing lines of experience. I sometimes wish I had job like yours. It would teach me a lot. And finally, after listening to this, the inspector straightened up and leaned back in his chair. And he went on telling Mr. Frederick about his job and about the clever frauds which he had uncovered. And gradually, his tone became much more friendlier. And after talking for a while, he informed Mr. Frederick that he will tell him about his decision in few days. And after three days, Mr. Frederick got a call from the inspector and he was informed that he wouldn't be taxed on that particular item. So in this scenario, the tax inspector once again demonstrated one of the human's most common frailties, which is a feeling of importance. So when Mr. Frederick was arguing with him, he got his feeling of importance by asserting his authority. But as soon as Mr. Frederick admitted his importance, he once again became a sympathetic human being. So this experience brings us to the first principle of how to win people to your way of thinking, which is the only way to get the best out of an argument is to avoid it. Now, this incident has been shared by Mrs. Catherine, who was an industrial engineering supervisor for a yarn processing plant. And part of her responsibility was to ensure that all the operators were getting paid fairly. But recently, the company had expanded its inventories so that they could run at least 12 different varieties. But the incentive system which was used to pay the operators was the old one. So naturally, this system wasn't adequate as it wasn't paying fairly to the operators. So Mrs. Catherine drafted a new system and went on to the management to take the approval. She entered the meeting determined to prove that, that her design system was the right approach. And she also went on explaining the management how they were being unfair. And as the meeting ended, she failed to convince them. And to be honest, she felt miserably because she had become so busy in defending her position on the new system that she didn't even left any space for the management to admit their problems on the new system and on the old system. And by the end of the meeting, the issue was dead. But after taking the course of Mr. Del Kanesa, she understood her mistake and she once again went back to the management for an another meeting. And this time she asked the management about what was their opinion on the new system and as well as on the old system. And at the end of the meeting, she presented her design system, which was accepted enthusiastically. So Mrs. Catherine used the second principle of how to win people to your way of thinking, which is show respect for the other person's opinion. Never say you are wrong. Well, this incident has been shared by a man who took course of Mr. Del Kanesa in the Hong Kong branch. And the man was Chinese. So let us call this man as Mr. Mac. 
So Mr. Mac had been estranged from his kid for many years because Mr. Mac was an opium addict. But he was cured completely while he was taking this course of Mr. Delkanesa. So he went on to share with the class that his desire to see his grandchildren whom he had never seen before. And he also desired to be reunited with his son. But according to the Chinese tradition, an older person should not take the first step and the younger person should take the initiative towards the reconciliation. So all the classmates of Mr. Mac could understand his conflict between desire and long established tradition. But by the end of the course, Mr. Mac told the class that how he pondered this problem with the help of one of the principal of Mr. Elkanesa. And he went on to tell the class that how he went to his son's house and how he empathetically admitted that he was wrong and his son was right in not wanting to see him. And then Mr. Mac also went on to tell the class that how he built a new relationship with his son, with his daughter-in-law and with his grandchildren. So the principle which Mr. Mac used is also the third principle of how to win people to your way of thinking which is if you are wrong admit it quickly and empathetically. Now when to read this book or to be specific when to read this particular part of the book. So the three principles which I have discussed in this video are particularly helpful in order to improve your family life because it has even happened with me that I have started arguing with my one of the family member over a very small issue just because I wasn't able to admit that it was my mistake and I was claiming that they were wrong. But after reading these three principles, I have started avoiding arguments. Though I am not able to avoid all the arguments, but yes, I make sure that I avoid most of them. And using these three principles will also help you in achieving peace of mind. So I hope you guys liked the video, do share the video with your loved ones. And to know more awesome principles like this, do check out my next video. So until then, happy reading.